Hello family and thank you for coming back to the channel, our channel, Jeff Chanel's 48th World, hosting with the Family Affair. And that's you guys. We're going to be quickly talking about Candy Burris and this little drinking. She said she never did, you know, tossing up all these, uh, what do you call it, uh, virgin drinks, all right? But now when she's in Jamaica, she thought she was throwing back some virgin drinks, but come to find out had alcohol in it. Now anybody that hasn't drank but hasn't been a drinker or light drinker, heavyweight drinker or medium sized drinker. I'm not a drinker either. I drink on social events, but I can't say I do drink. I don't go and say, no, I don't drink. And then I might have some drinks or some cocktails when I'm out with some good friends or family members at a restaurant, you know, or whatnot. No, if I don't drink, I don't drink. That's just it. But can let us believe that she don't drink at all. But now she's tossing back these, uh, what she thought was virgin, uh, fruity drinks, but they had rum in it. Like, come on, you can't tell the difference between sugary drinks and drinks that are mixed with alcohol. You ain't gonna get me to believe that shit, Candy. You ain't gonna get me to believe that, girl. You can fool some people all the time, but you can't fool everybody all the time. Okay, that's all I'm saying, girl. That's all I'm saying. And I'm bringing out a spade. I'm calling you a spade, girl. But anyway, we're gonna go to an article that was written on Atlanta Black Stars platform. You had Chantel Rusher giving us this salacious article on none other than one of the housewives of Atlanta cast star mates, Candy Burris. Her title, it goes, I thought I'd never see the day. Fans poke fun at Candy Burris for finally indulging in a little drinky drink. Okay, that's how Mark, Martin Lawrence used to say he little drinky drink. But again, Candy is definitely doing stuff, lying as usual. But hey, we just get into this article. It goes to say Candy Burris appears to be living it up during her family vacation in Jamaica. On top of enjoying couple massages with her husband, Todd Tucker, the old lady gang restaurant owner started turning up after she accidentally received an alcoholic beverage at her resort. Really? They should have said at the resort she was staying in because Candy ain't owning no type of resort. But the whole thing, come on, she received accidentally uh, a drink with alcohol in it. I'm like, come on, girl. Come on, girl. You own a restaurant. You know what bars are. You know what drinks are. You know, those little fruity drinks. And you, I mean, come on, Candy. That, that, it just don't make no sense. But anyway, we're finding out. That's just my sidebar. Going back to the article. It said, the reality star told fans she thought she ordered a virgin Bob Marley drink. However, she was not aware that the frozen mix contained alcohol. Really, Candy? Really? That's what you really want us to believe? Girl, will you clone? Will you clone, put in a lab, remade over... And you came into this newfound freedom of knowing what alcoholic drinks are versus non-alcoholic drinks. Girl, you can find that out probably at 10 or 12 years old. All right. The taste of alcohol, you know. It's a very strong taste. Whether we're talking about rum, vodka, scotch, brandy, whatever. Or even sangria wine. But you're going to let us believe at your age now. This is the first time you tasting uh, and partaking and throwing back several of them. Fruity drinks. Really, Candy? Really? But anyway, going back to the article. Y'all know I get sidetracked like that. Can't stand nobody lie like that. You know what I'm saying? Just gonna tell the truth. She could just say she's a lightweight drinker. I mean, she drinks occasionally. Alright? And it have to be some kind of tropical fruity drink. And that's me. I can drink, have a cooler, you know, all day, every day. Lime Classic is my favorite. Margarita Lime Classic, the favorite of choice. And it has to be almost like frozen. That's why I like my tropical drinks. And that's pretty much it. Except for some Moscato types. But, you know, like I said, I only drink occasionally. And with my health, has how it has been lately, I haven't really, I haven't been drinking at all. But anyway, this is my sidebar. Moving back, it says she posted this message on, on the ground to her fans. I've been living my best life for the last three days. Funny story. So I was ordering virgin bar marlis little did i know they weren't completely virgin they just didn't add the extra shot of rum but the frozen mix already had alcohol in it it was so sweet that i didn't even taste the alcohol i've been tearing them up so officially found a drink that i guess i like or i found a drink that i like i guess okay 
And it goes on to say, Birds, a reality star from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, has been very vocal about her decision to refrain from drinking alcohol. In the previous seasons of the hit reality show, she told fans that drinking was not her thing. And I'm like, okay, Candy. You came on Real Housewives of Atlanta in 2009. And you've been telling that lie to now, season 12, 2020, that from that time frame, frame, uh, time frame we do not believe that you never tasted, never indulged in any type of alcoholic beverage, whether it's uh, daiquiri or fruity type substance. Mm, I'm not buying it, okay? But anyway, that's what she's saying. That's her claim to fame. She's very vocal about her decision to refrain from drinking alcohol. In the previous seasons of the hit show, reality show, she told fans that drinking was not her thing. Fans took to social media to tease the singer about her decision to finally indulge in a few cocktails. One um, fan or follower said, or one user said, about time candy. Shit, I don't know how you made it this long without alcohol laughing my ass off. Yeah, I said the same thing. Then another commenter said, not at Candy been sipping, said a second fan. A third fan commented, whew, finally found a little drinky drink. Another one said, well, oh wow, I thought I'd never see the day that Candy likes to drink, said a fourth fan. Uh, Burris Tucker Burris and Tucker brought along their three children, Riley Burris, Ace Wills, Tucker, and Blaze Tucker. And I'm like, okay, you done brought three of your children. But here's Kayla. Again, here we go again. Where's Kayla? Why Kayla not enjoying the Jamaican fun that we're having? You mean she couldn't get away for a little one-week vacation? I mean, like she really... Uh, had this job for a very long time or a very short time. Vacation time is just vacation time, okay? But, again, we see her not being featured with the so-called family, uh, meshed family, Blurs and Tuckers together. Okay, this is a sidebar. Just noticing, I'm just noticing some stuff. That why I say, can ain't all where she appears. She's trying to say she all just dead in third. She's a good stepmom, but, you know, she had to pay to understanding of Todd and all this how he wants to view his child. Well, it ain't his child. It's your child, too. All right, if you paying his way, doing what he need to do, I need to see Kayla up in there. I'm just saying. But anyway, moving on back to the article. It says, uh, the family seemingly having the time of their lives. Burris was spotted holding a crocodile on her shoulders during her stay at the Roy Royalton Blue Waters Resort. The star also spent some time in the water with her three-month-old daughter, Blaze. Okay? Yes. All right. Mm. Her oldest daughter, Riley, has not been featured in any of the family vacation photos posted on social media. The singer jokingly told fans that Riley is avoiding them because she is on her senior trip and just wants to enjoy spending time with her friends. Okay. All righty then. So you're trying to say they chaperone there in Jamaica, uh, everybody in Jamaica, but she don't want to be on camera because she... When you're a chaperone, then again, it's something like chaperone slash mini vacation for you all. Where the hell is Kayla? That's why I want to know. Where is Kayla? I'm like, Michael, girl, bye. But anyway, that's all I had of this particular video, guys. Y'all know what I feel about it. Now it's time for my co host, which is the family affair, to get down, dialogue in those comments, interact with one another, and tell me what you feel about this situation. Do you believe Candy? This is the first time she's locked her lips around some virgin tropical drinks, or is she just fake, fraudulent, full of fuckery, and um, shitty behavior? Okay? Trying to buffoon us over here. Like, we're a bunch of buffoons. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. That's all I have to say about this video. Remember to like, share, and comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, I'll see y'all next video. See you later!